Learn Abacus at Home, Step-by-Step -step Abacus Tutorials. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to pick the right kind of abacus for learning the abacus technique, and eventually, mind math. If you search for abacus on the internet, you will usually find three different types of abacus. There is one that you may have commonly seen with 10 beads. That's not what we need. You need an abacus that kind of looks like this. Now, even in this look, there are two different kinds. There's a Chinese abacus, which has two beads above the bar and five beads below the bar in each column. Again, that's not what we want either. What we want is a Japanese abacus or the Soroban, like what you see here. This has one bead above the bar and four beads below the bar in each column. At this time, I'd also like to add that you should probably stay away from Abacus apps and Abacus simulators for your computer if you're serious about learning this technique. You want to use a physical Abacus. Now let's talk about the size of the Abacus. You want an Abacus that's about 10 inches in length and has 13 columns. We find this to be an ideal size for both children and adults. You'll sometimes find abacus that's about seven inches in length, but we find that the beads in the smaller size abacus are so small and so close together that there's greater likelihood to accidentally move beads that you did not intend to move. So stick with an abacus that's about 10 inches in length. What you see here is a plastic abacus and it's zero position. Zero position means that none of these beads are touching this bar which is also called the answer bar. Now once you actually start using the abacus, you'll be moving these beads around to do your calculations. Now to zero it out, before moving on to the next question, you have to clear or zero out the abacus by moving all the beads away from the answer bar and you have to use your fingers in this kind of abacus. Now instead of a plastic frame, these abacus also come with a wooden frame like what you see here. Now these are a little sturdier, but it's this one is also 10 inches in length and it's got 13 columns and you use your fingers to clear out this abacus. Now what you will primarily see us using in our lessons is this kind of abacus. This is also a wooden abacus, but it comes with a reset button right there. This abacus is also about 10 inches in length with 13 different columns, but it comes with this nifty clear button that can zero out the abacus with this one push of the button. This is just, we just find this really convenient and faster to use and uh, our students really like it. So we're gonna be using this kind of abacus in all of our lesson videos in most cases. Now, if you were to join our monthly or annual membership, for a limited time, we're giving away this Abacus complimentary as part of your membership. So you should definitely take advantage of that. But if you'd rather just purchase the Abacus directly, we've included some links under this video to Abacus that we recommend. So feel free to purchase one from there if you like what you see. But wherever you get one from, just make sure that it's about 10 inches in length with 13 columns. Now that we know how to pick the right kind of Abacus, in the next lesson we'll discuss the basics of using the Abacus. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.